I love, love, love the posts on the videos because it inspires so much good conversation. And one of them that came up was the bad news is so bad it appears unbelievable and that's why it's so hard to wake people up. And actually, the good news is so good it seems unbelievable. If if people believed in the good news more than the bad news, we wouldn't be experiencing all this shit. <laughs> but we can't believe the good news. And the good news is everything is causal. Everything is curable. Cure the cause, you cure every all the hell that's on the planet. But it's causal. You gotta look at the source. You gotta look at your human footprint, which means this is the answer to all healthcare problems. Because everything that's killing ya is found in how you are working. If you don't like your job, you got to create a new job. <laughs> you know, it's your time to say no to the evil machine, the corporate world, and start your own. Um, some of the things that I need, I absolutely need food. I cannot be the one that grows and cooks, you know, and provides the rent, <laughs> you know, unless rent is free. Um, I need to find a way of paying for shit, you know, so um, one way or another, I got to get myself working because I don't believe a social service is the way to go. I need to believe in myself while the system doesn't believe in me and create something that hasn't been created yet. Um, the economic system wants me to work the way they want me to work and it's like okay now I've created the psychosomatic behaviors that as soon as I do that I know it's going to kill me I know I know that my arms are going to cause so much pain I know if you say the negative thing I know if you you in any way connected to doing harm to anybody and I see it my muscles will tense up and create a hell of a lot of pain for me, which means then I'm back on a welfare system. So it's like I got to create the perfect environment for myself. And it's like, why do we have to get to that point where your body, you have to psychosomatically create illnesses just to tell the universe, no, if I do that job, that job will kill me. But if I do the job I know I'm good at, it won't kill me. There's the good news is living your best life means you are doing something and earning a living, um, prospering from something that you're good at, that you sing at, that you love. That's what's called never working a day in your life. When you're doing what you love doing, when it's so freaking natural, you don't have to work at it then you're living your purpose. So the more I try and sell my idea, it, I'm going to be, you know, fitting within a structure that suits somebody else so they can profit off of what I can offer. But it's more, I've got to be one with myself and know that um, the right people that can see the right potential and do it in the right manner um, will ensure that my environment is peaceful and loving and calm and natural and fun and exciting and good for humanity. And it shows right away instantly if I profit, everybody profits. It can't be a greed, greed, greed thing. It's got to be a, come up with a really good idea. You know, sell yourself on your really good idea. The same as what I have to do. If it is good for humanity and nobody dies from it, then we're on a good path. You just need to be provided with the opportunity to know your full potential and have the opportunity to unfold that potential. So if this is a way, you know, it's, it is it is like the new form of uh, a dragon's den. Instead of telling everybody what kind of bad idea it is, it's like, well, why do you want to do it? What do you want to accomplish? What's it good for society? Um, you know, to take a pill to make life easy is never, ever going to be the answer. You know, like, I need food. So that means I need to support somebody to grow food, you know, not for a, a, a greed-based, stock-controlled farming system. No, I'll support, you know, somebody that wants to live on a farm and grow my food for me. You know, and if you're growing my food for me, 
and you can grow your food locally that's healthy for everybody and it sustains your way of life i would fund that i i don't want to profit off that just the ability for me to buy food at a healthy source is pleasure enough for me so it's like if i earned money to provide a way to get food for myself then you've benefited you know because now you've got your own way of you know i would buy the farm and say here take it make sure i have food i will pay for it you know it's not a bribe it's nothing you know if this is your you need to make a profit off of it so i need to support you in you making your profit show me you can do it and i'll give you the piece of land um it's, it's the same with anybody that knows how to cure any kind of illness without a pill. I would support you. Chances are you're going to have to be able to provide somebody with some happiness. <laughs> you know, you can only cure every illness if you're given somebody that happy feeling about life. So it means you've got to enjoy your own life. Show me how you can profit off of it. Like sustain it, not get rich. But just you provide the way of life you love and everybody else loves and it's helping your community, which is helping your globe and it's doing no harm to anybody else. No, oh, if I made extra money that I don't need, here, here's the money to, to build whatever it is that you feel you have a good idea is good for humanity. Now it's... Um, a lot of this concept comes from like this hollow dynamics and it's like this guy doesn't own the copyrights or the patents to any of this shit it's science he doesn't own science um but he came up with a large part of it i think he's a genius but i also think he's a little crazy because he doesn't believe his own work and i think this process is an upgrade to it I believe that I'd be supporting him and what he wants by sharing it. Hell, I've even read it from his own books. Um, but I wouldn't give him any money for the information I use for what it is I'm doing. I'll talk about them, truthfully. But I also see that he wants to clean the biosphere. For somebody to say, hey, this is something that needs to be done, and he's found the answers to it, I want to have a look at it. And ultimately, I see that that's what he wants to do anyway. So if I take his concept that he ain't doing shit with, otherwise the planet would know about it, um, then, you know, I would fund his ideas. He's got systems that can transform all toxic waste into pure, clean energy. Good idea for humanity. He's got to sell me on the idea. Right now, he ain't. He's too busy sitting there saying, I want the almighty buck. And it's like greed will prevent you from unfolding your dream every time. So, um, I don't know where I started with this video, but, um, yeah, the answers are so good. It's unbelievable. It means that you know, you're not dying from your illnesses. It means you're not hating your job. It means you love what you're doing. Um, it means that I get to buy clothes again, but buy clothes that are made locally. Somebody, not a big corporation, is, is making the money off the labor of somebody else, but it's actually somebody here at home is making clothes I love. Making shoes I love to wear. I need shoes. I may as well have them looking good and productive for whatever it is I want to do. But I don't need to go to Walmart and buy them cheaper. Made from probably some third world country that's hungry and not getting enough money to sustain their life for the work that they're doing. So it starts at home. And, and you know, th that's what I would do is, is like if... If I was to to make any kind of profit right now, I would try and find somebody that um, is making clothes locally, and I would buy them. And if they're not, I would put an ad in the paper and, and let everybody know, hey, I need somebody that's going to make my clothes locally. And if they're making clothes for me, they can make clothes for everybody else. And if it meant that I pay for them to have a sewing machine so that they can do the job, then I would do that. 
I need shoes. I love shoes. So I need to find somebody that can make me shoes. So if it means I got to buy the equipment for them to build me my shoes, that's lifting somebody up, not giving them a handout. So it's like whatever it is you happen to need, help somebody else give it to you. So, and that's where I'm at too, is if you're kind of looking for the answers to shit, you know, the answers are a little too good to be true, but they just might be true. You gotta ask. I'm willing to share. Peace out.